Well, the death of a Cape Town top police investigator has outraged the police. Colonel Charles Kinnear was shot and killed outside his house in Bishop Levis yesterday. The South African police top brass say they will not rest until they bring those responsible to book. Newsroom Africa's Artim Tongana joins us live from Bishop Levis ahead of the minister's visit. A very good morning to you, RT. Just uh, speaking about the atmosphere in the community and uh, the, the sense that you're getting from some of the police officers regarding the death of such a high-ranking official who was really trying to crack down and, and, and get to the bottom of the, the syndicates that involve gangsters in Cape Town. What sense are you getting from them? Shaw Kinner was a top investigating officer here in the Western Cape, very well known to the entire Western Cape policing unit. In fact, uh, the uh, police uh, commissioner, uh, Kesha Sitole, there yesterday releasing a statement saying that the police will not rest until they get those responsible for his death to book. Remember, he was investigating a number of high-profile cases. He was investigating several um, gang-related uh, cases. Remember, he was also uh, a colonel in the anti-gang unit. He was a commander in the anti-gang unit. He led that unit for uh, several years. And, and like I said, working on a high number of profile cases meant that his life was at risk at several points in time in his career. His wife had recently lost year, uh, raised concern over fears of being targeted. Uh, you know that in the Western Cape, most of uh, the crimes that the anti-gang unit is investigating is related to organized crime. And uh, they have been really trying to make sure that they go for those that are responsible for leading the underworld gang unit. And uh, Charles Kinner was, of course, leading in these investigations. In fact, recently, uh, before his death, he testified in another case where a witness was killed. And he, uh, last year, sometime, complained about how he was threatened. Not so long ago, we also heard from the city of Cape Town's uh, MACO member for safety and security, J.P. Smith, about how he has also been receiving threats. So uh, Carl Kinner has been receiving a number of threats throughout his career, his family raising concern over their safety, uh, and their uh, security and protection was withdrawn sometime last year, something that his wife raised concern about. And so the Minister of Police, not so long ago, visiting Cape Town, to come and announce the steering committee that would directly deal with the organized crime that has been seeping into the underworld in the Cape Town a restaurant fraternity. We know a lot of restaurant owners have been complaining about extortion, how they've been forced to pay protection fees, and the minister joining forces with the city of Cape Town as well as the MEC for uh, safety and security, Albert Fitz, to say, let's put our hands together, let's put our differences aside in all spheres of government, national, provincial, and the city to ensure that we deal with this organized crime unit that seems to be wreaking havoc across the Western Cape. And Ati, what time can we expect the minister to arrive and do we know what his program looks like for today? Well, what he really wants to do here is to visit the family and ensure them that they will try to uh, comfort them and give them some protection. Well, we hope that in this instance that they will take this matter seriously because the protection of that family was withdrawn uh, sometime last year and they raised concerns about that. So we're hoping that the minister will at least give them some, so some surety of whether they will be able to uh, give them the protection that they need. Uh, Kino was shot and killed several times outside his house. He was inside his vehicle and he was shot several times. More than one gunshot uh, fired into his vehicle that subsequently killed him. Something that uh, the entire community of Bishop Levis is still reeling over. And so the minister will, of course, visit the family and we're hoping that he will uh, bring forward some kind of report with the steering committee that 
that is set up to deal with uh, the underworld, the alleged underworld gang, which has been ruling the Cape Town streets for a number of years. Uh, this particular officer, this top investigating officer, like I said, was investigating a number of high-profile cases, uh, which include uh, the alleged extortion gang leader Nafiz Modak and uh, several of, uh, several other alleged extortion leaders who are leading some of the gangs here in Cape Town. He was also working on a case where a top criminal lawyer, Pete Mahalik, was uh, killed in a drop-off shooting in uh, Cape Town in 2018. So all the police officers in Cape Town right now will be focusing their attention on ensuring that they bring those that are responsible for this particular hit, because it does look like it was an assassination. It was planned. Of course, knowing that he was a part of the anti-gang unit, he was always a moving target uh, for for this particular city and for this particular unit. So the Minister of Police, uh, Begitele, expected to arrive sometime today to speak to the family, as well as to, of course, speak to this steering committee, which will ensure that they tackle this issue of organized crime in the Western Cape. Well, let's leave it there for now. Our reporter, our team, Tongana, coming to us live from Bishop Levis, so where Minister Begitele is expected to visit the family of the later Colonel Charles Kinnear.